It is hard to think in terms of miraculous survival when a house of God has endured such an ordeal by fire. But the overwhelming reaction this morning, as the first cameras were invited in to see the damage, is that it could have been so much worse. Late last night, fire crews were in the body of the cathedral as the fire burned in the roof above them, sparks and burning timbers falling into the nave. But the altar and golden crucifix were defiant and apparently undamaged. This video, taken by a fireman on the roof, perhaps shows why the worst did not come to pass. The stone vaulting of the roof, for the most part, held, keeping most of the burning timbers from falling to ground level. To see what has been lost, and just as importantly, what hasn't, this is the altar, as most will remember it, and this is it today. And from the outside, the before and after shots are just as revealing. Stone walls that took a century to construct still stand, but everything else has been ripped away. But when you see what was happening here just 24 hours ago, the close-up video shot by firefighters themselves, the intensity of the inferno that consumed wood and metal alike. Little wonder, at its height last night, those fighting this fire thought Notre Dame may have been destroyed completely. So the one small silver lining was that when President Macron addressed the nation on television tonight, it was about rebuilding. Nous sommes ce peuple. We are a nation of great builders. We have so much to rebuild. So yes, we will rebuild the Notre Dame Cathedral, even more beautiful, and I want that to be completed in five years. We can do it, and we will. Nous mobiliserons. And already the money is pouring in from wealthy individuals, companies, countless small donations and offers of help from around the world. So much was lost last night, but Paris has not lost the jewel of its skyline. The great towers still survive, the structure still stands. Notre Dame has been horribly wounded, but she is still alive. So too many of the priceless treasures housed in Notre Dame passed from hand to hand in a human chain to safety. The fire service protocol had been people first, then art treasures, then the building itself. France's Minister of Culture explained this morning that even those works too big to move had, for the most part, been spared. The great paintings, he said, these can be removed on Friday morning. We assume they've not been damaged by the fire. There may have been smoke damage, but they can be protected, conserved and restored. The streets around the Ile de la Cité were packed this morning, both with those who'd just come to have a look and with the faithful carrying their rosaries and taking time to pray. They too will have been both grateful and astonished that despite the great heat, the stained glass in the rose windows dating back to the 13th century appears to be intact, though possibly suffering from both smoke and heat damage. The statues streaked with smoky residue, but otherwise still standing. Given what the firefighters were looking at from their drone cameras as they fought the blaze last night, the survival of so much is indeed remarkable. Perhaps not a miracle, certainly a blessing to all those who love this place. James Mates, News at 10, Paris.